I don't necessarily remember that night as vivid as he does. I think that was more of a bad experience for him, but uh, we, we had a good time. Mark Cuban, what do you remember from when he bought the team and your first recollection of how this guy's different? Well, it was a time where we didn't really quite know what to expect because, you know, some new owner, um, you know, he might bring a new coaching staff, his own people. I remember there was a period of, you know, yeah, not knowing what, what's going to come now. So I think that was, uh, that was the, the worst thing that we, we didn't quite sure how he was going to come in. And you guys were practicing on public courts. Sometimes we'd come back at night to shoot with Steve and they'd had league games going. Right. So we'd, we'd shoot on one of the side baskets on the baseline so the ball doesn't go in. And then when they take a five minute break, we'd run out, shoot a couple threes real quick. I mean, those were the old school days, yeah. But anyway, so when Mark bought the team, we're, there was some uncertainty there, um, but he showed it pretty much right away that he's all in. Yeah, he, uh, he bought us a new plane. He wanted to build us a new arena. Um, he kept the coaching staff and so, he was all in on, 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 on trades and taking on money and, and spending money to, uh, to have us win. And so he basically turned this franchise around and, and put it on, back on the map and, uh, and free agents wanted to come. And, and so that was, that was a wonderful time for me as I remember. The beginning was very tough. And then once we started to get rolling, I'm my third, my fourth year, Finn Nash was getting better, and Van Exel, and we had, we had some some amazing runs there. To me, of course, the championship was will always be better than everybody. But those early days, once I got over my first uh, disappointment that it's not working, was was some of the best times we had. How about the best time you and Cuban ever had together? Well, there's plenty. You know, we've known each other now over 20 years. Uh, I always tell the story that he came to my bachelor party. You know, how many owners come to their players' bachelor parties? What about Jawan Howard's uh, birthday party? In the early days, we were just uh, we were having fun. It was he was uh, he was our number one supporter, and um, I loved it. And uh, but he also you know wanted to be a part with with us, and he was on every road trip. He was at every practice. And uh, of course, we were uh, we were having some fun as well, especially around the All Star games. Always, so uh, I don't necessarily remember that night as vivid as he does. I think that was more of a bad experience for him, but uh, we we had a good time. I just remember wild turkey in a cowboy hat that was floating around the, the, the party at that one point, and you know everybody was taking a sip. Mark was uh, celebrating with us as well, and. Uh, yeah, it was it was a long night, bro. Yeah. July of 2010. I think you think you're going in to meet with him at his house to say you might be leaving. Uh, take me into that conversation and how it changed. Well, you know, in, uh, in I never had really an agent, so Holger uh, kind of talked a little bit with the mass, but then he was like, "Hey, listen." I think Mark wants to talk to you. Why don't you just go over there and do it yourself? So that's, that's the agent I had. And so I went over to his house and we just, uh, we talked about the, the old times. We talked about the good times, the bad times. And it was like just talking to a friend, really, not, not your owner. And we both got emotional. And I think we both agreed that I'm, I'm part of this team. I'm part of this organization. I'm part of this franchise and city so let's just let's just do it let's just uh, um, stay and well of course I'd never really wanted to go anywhere anyway oh you didn't no I, no, okay. I didn't but uh, we weren't quite sure you know I was a free agent uh, the last few years we after 06 07 we were the best team we, we had declined and so I was just you know making sure that we're we're all in still and and then, of course, I, I, uh, I signed that four-year deal, and we won the championship in the first year after that. So. Oh, and it required you sacrificing a, a lot financially to make yeah, I could have signed work. I could have signed a max deal, uh, and I decided to take a little less. To me, 
at that point, I had already, individually, I'd already done everything, um, all-star, whatever, a bunch of times, and MVP or whatever. I mean, you probably left somewhere between 70 and 90 million well, on the Well, that's over, that's over later overall. Of, yeah. at, that, at that contract, I didn't leave that much. Right. I don't want to give myself that much credit, but uh, later on, I could have signed another right. uh, couple of maxes. But first of all, I wanted to be here. The, the city has been great to me from the beginning. Mark has been a loyal friend to me, even... Uh, on and off the court when stuff weren't going well. He was the first one to be there for me. So we just have a great relationship and, and the city has been loyal to me and I'm a loyal guy. So it, it always made sense to, for me to stay here.